Hey guys, what's up? If you don't know me, my name is Sarah, and you stumbled upon the most amazing vlog ever. I am not wearing makeup for you. I have a wedding to attend, so <laughs> don't get your hopes up. Today's topic is about Almost Maine, which is a play that um, NDA and CCH put on. I got to see it yesterday on opening night, and let me tell you, um, it was fantastic, which is why my vlog topic today is giving you a review on it. So if you live in my area or, you know, you go to my school or you go to CCH and you're, you know, wanting to see it but you don't know if you're going to like it, I'm here to tell you, you will like it if you have a sense of humor and a sense of a romantic side. Yes, you need both of those to understand this play. So Almost Maine is, um, actually in the, like, play it does say this so I'm like kind of quoting this character but kind of not because I can't actually remember his exact line um it's about a town called almost and the reason why they're almost a town is because they never really got organized so that's why they're like you're not gonna ever find this like town on a map so that's why it's called almost Maine. the play itself has 10 scenes it has the prologue which basically kind of sets up what everything's about and then it has four scenes, and then it has intermission, and then it has four more scenes, and then they have the epilogue that um, basically sums up what happened during those eight scenes. Because they're really short, like, scenes where it, like, gives, like, oh, um, this happens to this person, or this person kissed this person, this person broke up with this person. And so then at the epilogue, it comes back and says who ends up with who, who doesn't end up with this person you know, what happens to each other. Um, it was really good. I thought it was set up very well into these, like, little skits. Um, everything was student-ran. We had a student director, you know, the, all the crew is student-based. The um, lights and sound are also student-based. So it's very student-based. <laughs> Um, it's always been that way and will hopefully always continue to be that way because it gives a it gives a nice feel to know that not only did my school put on all of this but also like when you go and see it or those people who did work on the crew and those people who did you know do all the lighting and the sound and those actresses and the the student director it gives them a sense of pride to know that whenever this you know audience claps they did a good job during that scene so bravo to them yay you Woo! um so more about my opinion of it it is a romantic comedy um like i said it's there's a lot of kissing in the play which you know can be sometimes really uncomfortable um depending on who you're going with so yeah emmy understands my pain yeah, Emmy and I did go together, and her and I just, like, laughed the whole time. We really took the play in a serious, like, not a serious note, because it's not meant to be a serious play. But, yeah, I'm sure everyone around us were just like, why are they laughing? This isn't even funny yet. Like, do they know something we don't know? But, you know, we laugh because, well, we're theater nerds. We get it. So, that's that. If you want to go see the play, $5 for students, 10 dollars for adults i'll put a link down in the doobly doo so you can read more about it um if you have any questions concerns need some answers tell me i'll answer them because you know i like giving reviews on things but it's also really hard to do a review under like five minutes so with that being said if you like this video, make sure you like it. If you want to subscribe, which I know you do, click that red button. If you have a comment, comment down in the skirt. And as always, I will see you next Saturday. Dream on. Bye!